Hi and welcome to the part two of the Canon 7D Final Cut Pro EOS plugin uh, ingest workflow. Uh, the reason I thought I'd do a part two is uh, I failed to spot uh, that the EOS plugin itself has the ability to create disk images and as long as you don't mind uh, having to wait for that process to happen because uh, you won't be able to use Final Cuts uh, whilst it's doing that um, then it's quite a useful and pro possibly a quicker way of creating a disk image than, than I previously described uh, all depending on like I say if you need to use Final Cut. Uh, for those who have not watched the part one uh, tutorial the uh, whole point of this is to show a workflow that you can use to back up uh, images or movies captured on your SD cards in a similar kind of way to a take workflow by creating uh, a single uh, wrapped up disk image for each of your uh, each of your SD cards and then storing those on your backup medium. So we'll start off, we've got a mounted disk image here, SD02, and we're going to go straight into Final Cut this time and go to the Log and Transfer uh, window where we should see that now being added by Final Cut Pro. Uh, and if we command click on uh, our SD card, we actually have a couple of options here. Archive to folder, which would uh, copy all the contents over to a folder of choice, uh, which is one of the first steps that we did in part one. Uh, or archive directly to a disk image. So that's that's the option we're going to choose here. Um, so we archive to disk image, and we're going to give this a name. And this is uh, uh, going to be uh, MSD0021 in my case. So this is the kind of uh, your tape catalog uh, format that we would have had. And then click click save. And what this uh, EOS plugin is now going to do is create that disk image. Uh, but notice that the volume name burnt into it is going to be SD02 to match the actual SD card that was um, that, that was uh, plugged into uh, the card reader. But we're going to go in later uh, because the EOS plugin creates that as a read-writable image and we can change this volume name uh, to fit better with our with our workflow. Okay, so the plugin has now uh, managed to archive all of that SD card into a single disk image, so we'll click OK here. And uh, we now no longer have any need to have this uh, SD card, the actual SD card mounted, so we'll eject it from the log and transfer window. Now a very important step is that you close this log and transfer window down, uh, particularly if you're going to keep Final Cut running, uh, otherwise it will uh, basically start interacting with uh, the next step that we're going to do and, and cause a few issues. So, so just make sure you close the log, at least the log and transfer window down. Okay, so here's our uh, our, our image that's just been created. If we mount that, you notice that the volume name in there is the same as our source, which is SD02. But I actually want this to reflect uh, my unique naming convention, so MSD0021. And uh, I'll just eject that just to show that that has actually, because of the read write image that was created, uh, it is obviously um, created that uh, as, as that name. So if we go back to Final Cut, we're at the stage now where if we go back to the Log and Transfer window, the Final Cut will now recognise that as our mountable image uh, and from this point onwards we can refer to these clips um, by uh, our newly mounted uh, image name. So one of the really, really nice things about this plugin is that now we have our, our volume mounted there with our, the naming convention that we want on there. Uh, Final Cut will maintain that relationship uh, when we transcode our clips uh, between the source material and the transcoded material. As you can see here, we're pulling this one in and it's got the link to uh, the real MSD0021. And that's all I need is a mouse battery to go flat, but we're nearly done. So let's close the log and transfer window. Uh, and there's our clip loaded into the, uh, into the viewer there. And if we look at the item properties for this clip, we can see it's the Apple ProRes codec and it's all ready for editing. So uh, so that, that's just a very quick overview, another, another bit of workflow uh, showing the EOS plugin and archiving to disk. Thank you.